Um, first of all, I want to make sure that everybody understands what our bill does. It allows you six payments, 13 days apart for 78 days, and including the 14 days, that's 92 days. But if you listen to the testimony that was given earlier, you would think uh, that you could simply roll it over. Well, we have a ban on rollovers. We have a ban on non-sufficient funds and being able to submit a check for non-sufficient funds. Um, and our APR is actually lower than Louisiana, which is at 521. We reduce it to 391 because we specifically relate $15 to 100. Um, and then, of course, they said, well, they got around the bill. Ms. Fox says that, and she's right. <laughs> this is not an installment loan protection program. This is about the payday industry. Um, we hope in the near future to be able to deal with installment loans, but that's not what we're talking about today. If people change the nature of their relationship with, their, with those providing funds to them, and then those changes uh, should not be attributed to this measure. Uh, this measure, as many of my colleagues who are supporting um, understand, is a measure which will allow us to take 23 states and over 100 million people who do not have these protections today and be able to encourage them. Mrs. Fox, in your testimony, you assert that H.R. 1214 would provide congressional approval for payday lending. I find the argument confusing. See, by not acting to curtail payday lending in over 18 years, it has gone from 300 store funds to 24,000. And uh, so has not Congress uh, already provided its approval? 19 million Americans participate in legal and authorized payday lending. Wouldn't federal regulations on payday lending demonstrate that Congress is paying attention and ready to regulate the industry? Is your argument that no federal legislation on payday lending would send us a message that Congress disapproves of payday lending? Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The action that Congress has taken on payday lending to date has been to ban this product for service members and their families. In 2006, you enacted uh, a provision in a defense authorization bill to put payday lending off limits to service members uh, at the request of the Department of Defense because this product was viewed as being harmful to them. Typically, small loan products are regulated at the state level where state laws authorize certain types of lending like installment lending, uh, pawn shops, or payday loans. Uh, typically, Congress does not enact authorization bills for specific products. Uh, you have overarching laws like truth in lending, which require all creditors to tell consumers what their I guess, loans cost. I guess I, I understand those things, and since my, even though I'm the chairman, my time is still limited to five minutes. Yeah. Um, the issue here is yeah. um, whether or not we wish to take 23 states and over 100 million consumers and offer them a protection they do not have today. And so I guess, would you like to see rollovers eliminated in 23 states, which this bill does? Just yes or no, because I know my time is waning. Uh, this bill doesn't stop back it to does, back it, lending. It, so it does. It does do that. So we'll have a continuing conversation about it yeah. because it does. And it specifically says that, you know, if you wish to be against the bill because you wish us to do nothing other than eliminate payday lending, which... Yeah in your statement. Anybody can read and extrapolate, Ms. Fox. You don't like the payday. I don't like the payday. You wish to eliminate it. You wish to ban it. That's not possible. That's not possible. So what we're trying to do, many of us, is to reform that very system that many of us, and as I stated earlier, we'd like to take the columns over. But that's just not possible. So as we, as we, as we, as we look at those situations in this Congress, and I just would like to say to the, to, to the lady also that, you know, I began the amendment process for the military servicemen mm -hmm. here in this committee that got it down to 36%. We were successful in that venture. I think I have a good gauge of what is and can or cannot be successful. But I'll work with you because the only bill that we've gotten after I've introduced this bill is a bill that makes it harsher on consumers vis-a-vis -vis the payday industry. I look forward to working with those that have the ability of doing better.